This video is approved by Chuck Norris. What's up, guys? Today I'm gonna bring you uh, another video like uh, I always do. And today we're gonna be um, making a video about the CMD CMD tricks for your computer, so you can play or do any kind of stops stuff. Sorry. So I have a couple um, CMD code like the calculator, clocks, and more. So I will go through one of each of them. So first, I have the calculator. So I will leave this in the description. Link on the description. I will leave um, the link to it. So yeah, so let's begin. So I will leave, like I said, this code on it. And yeah, so here what we got is a calculator. So to make this work, you will go to files save as select the the place you want to save it i will select the desktop and you can call it whatever you want i'm just gonna call it calc dot wait dot bat remember call it dot bat and it says text documents select it select that to all files and save so here Close the calculator um, text and you will see this um, calculator um, file. So, what you're gonna do is double click on there and doesn't, it doesn't gonna appear on here nothing. So, what you're gonna do is like 2 plus 2, press enter and it's gonna give you the answer. Press any key to continue. You can press 6 plus 3. The same thing, 9. You can do this with 6 minus 2, and it works. 4. As you can see, let's try that again with minus. 8 minus 7 gives you 1. As you can see, it's a really cool, um, neat um, calculator. You can use it at your school on math if you're using computers. And then it doesn't say it's um, calculator here in the CMD, so the teacher won't know what do you doing. So it will be better. I'm not sure if I can multiply because I tried that before and it doesn't work. So that's why. So we we'll close this window and I will save this to the download link I will make soon. So let's go to the next one. The next one is the clock. As you can see, I have a bunch of codes, and I don't make these codes and stuff like that. I just find it on the internet, as you can see. You will go to files again, save as, it says clock, I will send it to clock, dot, bat, so remember save it to all files, and save. And I don't save it to the um, area. I don't know where it is, let me save it again, save it as, desktop, sorry about that, 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 all text files, and here we got the clock, so we close that window, let's check it out, so here, it gives you the clock and the battery charge, so this is a military clock on here, and it says Tuesday 21st uh, in January 2014 so if you don't want to have widgets on it like I do right now like I'm having here and you want and you don't want to waste um, RAM and stuff like that you can use the CMD for the clock I leave this one here let's go to the next one it's gonna be clock 2 oh it's safe there sorry um, clock 1 the clock number 2 Let's see. Remember, save as. I will save in the desktop. Dot bat. All files and done. 
So let's see the second clock. As we can see, it opens like this. And you can see the hours. It says 23 hours and 31 seconds and then microseconds on there. Um, it's really cool too. And let's close this one. Um, please subscribe for more videos. And you can have really cool stuff to download from my videos. So here we got the colorful Nyan notepad. Well, Nyan, sorry. And a bunch of codes again. And this, um, what it does, it, it um, opens a lot of codes for you. And colorful codes. So it will be good. So press OK. And we're up here. here. So you just double click again that. Says by create to someone immediately impossible detect game. So input your name, I'll call my name, press enter. Says, Welcome, Jimmy Joe. Are you ready? Yeah or no? So I write, Yeah, and you will see a bunch of colors on there. You see, so let me. I use a little bit this window so you can see it has a lot of really cool um, um, colors remember I will have this separately with this file on it if you don't know how to make it so you will have to open it if you want so let's go to the next one so here we got the matrix it's really cool it's, it does like the same thing like from the movie matrix and yeah, so I will save a matrix dot but and all files and I will save in the desktop. Okay. So here what we got is the matrix. There's uh, here we got a lot of codes on it. So you can do this. You can put it on one window if you want. I will open two CMDs. One here and one there so you can cover up your the whole window with it you can put one on, on here on the edge so someone when you they look at your computer they think um, you will be hacking something just for prank people maybe here we got the monopoly this one is a game as you can see does the same thing as I do save as select your area where you want to save it that but all files and save it and it will, and it will appear um, a monopoly game so double click on there it says player one character and all I select my character is this number one number two um, um, player I will select the number three for it and it says as you can see here uh, we got a monopoly game and it's really awesome if you like to play Monopoly on your computer with your friends. And it says, press any key to roll the dice. It says, press any key to roll the dice, the second player. So the dice says 1 plus 2. And then you just, does what it does. I don't know how to play Monopoly, so I'm sorry. I cannot demonstrate you. Yeah. Let's go over the next one. It's gonna be called Snake. Do what I do. Save as. Remember the dot but please um subscribe, smack that like button, and yeah. So it will be awesome if you do that. It will be the most awesome people. If you people press the like and and you know it doesn't take a lot of memories on your computer it says 20 dot um, 7 kilobyte so you know here it says n for new games s to save game and the rest of it and graphic option I will select the new game on here as you can see here it says the description delay seconds I will select um, one 
So here, um, to play this game, I think um, you have to use the W, S, A, D, and D. As you can see, it's a little bit laggy. Um, it's like that because you're using Z and D. But as you can see, let me get to the last one. So we can go to the next one video. And yeah, and it says you lose. In high score, congratulations, press any key, and you can replay, replay the previous game and save the games. It's really cool. So, here what we got here. Snake. Ah, Splat Rat. Splat the Rat. So, let's see. So, what you gonna do again? That bot. All files. And I forgot to save it on the desktop, so you will look to the same place that you has been before. Splat the rat. Let's see how it works. So it says plus one to enter the game. So you what you gonna do? Like I uh, I was playing before. You just gonna when you see the rat, um, press any key and you will splat it. I will press the number one, and you will see here a window. And then you will spl um, splat the rat whenever you're ready. So click on here. It says press any key to begin the game. Oh, I think I lose. Press any key to swing the bat. Your bat. So let's see. Oh, again, it appears. Sorry, you cannot see. Again, you see, it appears here. So I will lose. So. Yeah, it says a uh, new score, uh, most hints. So I think um, I don't have a score yet. Trick character maximum. So yeah, splat the rat. The info file, if you want, you can delete it. it doesn't matter. So here we got the Tetris. As so you can hear. Let's see. Tetris dot bat. Well, sorry. That bad. Save it as all files. I wanna keep saying it until you get it. Oh, and select the place where you wanna save it. Where do you want to save it? And once again, double click on the file, and we got Tetris. Okay, so it says press one to play Tetris and press two to um, know how to play it and exit the number three. So I press one. What you're gonna do is. Whoa. Oh, so you wanna use the A button, S to go down, D to the, to the right, and A to the left, W, you cannot use it. So you go down, um, press R to rotate the blocks, as you can see. And yeah. So let's see. So yeah, this is how you play the game, I have 200 points, and you can keep playing it, and yeah, so let's go over to the next one, it says tic-tac-toe, here we got, so go to file, save as again, dot bat, remember I'm gonna have the dot bat next to the, 
um, letters so you don't have to make the the, the the game again and I will include even to the you know the text file too so here it says pick your skill level level press a number one should child sorry children's under six two a verish menthol case and oversized eagle so I will take the number two that's the difficult to, um, part so it says to use the button the areas it says seven goes here eight goes here nine go here so follow my cursor cursor sorry about my language and my accent four four go here five go here six go here I know you don't understand by here but yeah one in the bottom of the left two on the middle three on the right same thing so I'm gonna start what about if I press five I'm uh, X and the machine my computer is playing with me it's gonna be zero automatic automatically I will press um, right now eight and the computer will target a zero on under there so I want nine and you see, it's really difficult to win on the computer. So select four, and I lose. So the computer wins. And yeah, it says you want to play again. Press Y, and you can do it again. Everything. So as you can see, um, I lose again. Yeah. So let's go with the next one. So the last one is a website selector. So go to file, save as um, dot bat, save it as all file, and done. Now, I forgot to set it, like the place where I want to save it. But yeah. So here we got the website selector. I open up. It says site selectors. Key number one is Google search engine. So let's see. I press one and enter. I'm just waiting. It says thank you for using your site selector. It will open your website that you select. As you can see, Google.com Puerto Rico. Yeah, as you can see, um, I really live in Puerto Rico. I'm a Puerto Rican. As you can see, it says type E, letter E to exit or B to go back, and select another site. And I want to press B. I will select right now four is Facebook four press enter wait and yes wait a second as you can see here I'm right now on my Facebook I will maybe blur make a blur on my name because I don't want people maybe to find me or do something else so yes, and I will blur the name of the people I have around. So sorry for that. Go back. And you can go even to YouTube. That's right. I press 10. And remember, I don't make those um, bad file, patch files, um, programs. But yeah. So you can go to your YouTube and watch your videos. It's really amazing. And please subscribe, smack that like button, and I will leave a link in the description. And also watch my other videos. It's, they are um, for me. They are really cool. I don't know about you guys. And yeah, I hope you like it. And like as always. Thanks for watching. Bye.